Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. This has got me excited. This is the largest seven star crystal opening that I have ever done. So for those of you who don't know, Kabam put a seven star, they added a seven star loyalty crystal in the loyalty store. I got that one. Then Cap's Commissary, which has been under fire for lackluster rewards, that also got the addition of a seven-star loyalty crystal, all for the low, low price of 1.5 million loyalty. I actually had to spend a few units to top myself up so I can get that second one. So I've got two loyalty crystals. Then. In the Battlegrounds, uh, not the Battlegrounds, the uh, Incursion Store, we have a seven-star crystal. I was about 22,000 artifacts short. But thanks to a few people that sent me enlisting, uh, enlistment crystals, I had about 13 of them. And I was like, you know what? If I can get enough artifacts to get that artifact um, seven-star crystal in the incursion store, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have an opening. So I opened up 13 of them, got like 30,000 artifacts. So I said, all right, bought that one. Then I was only 1,500 shy of a seven star crystal. So I went over to the battleground store. I had enough battleground tokens. I got every single one that was there. Uh, and that is 1500. I think that's the max that you can get. So we're going to open up four seven star crystals. And they have different pools. So we will go over those. But first, Let's get some of the um, smaller ones out of the way. We'll do a, a you know quick tap. We even have a six star that we're going to open up as well, but you know obviously they're not as exciting these days. Speaking of not as exciting, four star, definitely not exciting. Not exciting at all. All right, okay. Don't need to go all the way over there. Let's quick tap that. Although I won't mind getting a six star out of this, especially if it's a new one, like an OG Iron Man. Why y'all gonna insult me? I'm talking about six stars and y'all give me a three star. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. All right, anyway, get the trash out the way. Those are free, so, you know, I don't really care. All right, so we don't got anything there. We're not going to open those. Uh, there's no real need. I'm not close to a six star, uh, another six star here. Um, I'm not going to open those. All right, so let's open a six star. See that seven star there? Let's open this one up. And let me pop this up so you can see the champs that I want the most out of this crystal. And we've got two, Juggernaut and Iron Man. Iron Man is the only one I don't have um, as a tech, six star. However, he is in the current arena and I might pick him up next, uh, next round. We'll see how much he goes for. Um, and if I'm feeling up for it, I might do it. We'll see. Um, but those are the two that I would like the most. The ones on the right, uh, Void, Black, uh, <laughs> Black Falcon, Falcon, uh, Wolverine, I already have. Let's see, what do we got here? Ooh, Sasquatch. I'll take more uh, SIG levels on him. And um, Spider-Man Supreme. Um, let me see, Wolverine... More seven-star shards. I like that. Uh, while I'm doing this, let me... 
I thought I had removed. Well, let me keep him there because I do want him awakened. If I if I can get him duped, I don't have to use an awakening gem on him. Now Sasquatch is available as a seven star. However, more Sig levels on him as a six star. Very very nice. All right, now. We've got the loyalty ones, and we got the incursion ones. They have a more limited pool. So let's start with this one here. And honestly, the uh, champ that I want out of here the most is Hulk. However, any new seven star is awesome. Okay, don't mind any new seven star. Um, but Hulk, I would like. America Chavez, I would like. Um, would definitely like um, the Overseer. He'd be cool. Um, so let's, uh, let's spin this out. And let's see who else I see here that I might have forgotten. Um, I've already duped my domino, but guess what? Let me get another domino. I don't mind. Um, I would not mind duping my bishop. I already took him to rank two. Uh, Gamora would be pretty cool uh, to get. Um, Mantis, I would not mind. I don't really use her that much. Gambit is actually uh, low-key legit. So I would not mind getting him. Um, but yeah, any, any new one. I'm looking here. Those would be the ones that I want the most. Shuri. I would love to have a Shuri. All right. Let's see. What do we got? First seven-star crystal is going to be... Okay. That's a new one. Um, the only thing about Wong is he seems to be more of a ramp-up type champion. So he doesn't really fit my style of play. I'm not the biggest fan of ramp-up type champions. But he is good. And honestly... As a defender, I don't even know if he needs to be awakened. I'll have to look. Let me see. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to look at his um, awakened ability. I'll look at it later uh, and see. But you guys can leave a comment and let me know if you think he needs to be awakened for uh, defense. But not mad about that at all. All right, now. These ones have smaller pools. And I believe I'm guaranteed to get a new champ out of them. So let's keep going down here. All right, those are the two loyalty ones. Let's open the uh, incursion one first. And we can look and see. There it is. All right, so we've got Angela. I do not have an Angela as a seven star. Captain America, Infinity War, don't have him. Hulkbuster, don't have him. Mojo, don't have him. Namor and Ronin, do not have them. So any of these would be a new champion. So I'm going to get a new champion. Out of these, I actually don't mind any of these. The only problem is with Namor. With Namor, he needs to be Sig 200. So if I get a Namor... He's new. He'll still be good in arena and all that good stuff. But until he's SIG 200, I wouldn't be using him over my uh, six star SIG 200 one. So that's the only caveat there. Okay, but anybody else is going to be pretty good. I will like any of them. Um, I don't really have a, a, a top preference out of any of these. I think they're all unlike, you know, except for Namor, they all have a pretty good use unawakened. So let's see. Come on. What new champion will I have? I'm actually excited because I'm getting a new champion no matter what. So I'm going to be happy, even if it's Namor. I'm going to be happy. All right, let's see. What do we got? New champ is going to be Angela. That's a good one. I like Angela. 
Yes, the only thing, her awakened ability, she'll get that degen. Uh, oh man, that's a good one. A seven star Angela. I remember when I got Angela as a six star and then I kept duping her. I was not happy, but she's undergone a transformation. She's actually really good. Ha, huh, okay. That's what's up. Seven star Angela. Okay. Now let's look at these here. All right. So Black Cat, new. Void, new. Mordo, new. Vision Arcus, new. Howard the Duck would be new. And Storm, new. Out of all of these. And I know Howard the Duck is good. I just never cared for him. And it's those noises that he makes, really. Um, but other than that, uh, Void, he doesn't absolutely need to be awakened, but you really want him awakened. I, my Void is still rank one, unawakened. So if I get Void, I'll probably end up using him if I can get him duped perfect. Black Cat would probably be the top choice out of these. That would be the top choice. All right. Let us spin this first one out and see what we got. And again, I'm guaranteed a new champion. Now, if I were to get Void both times, I would actually be happy with that. That'd be the only double dupe I would actually be happy with. Um, my Black Cat, I think I took her to rank three. And if I were to pull her, then I'd probably need to learn to play her a little bit better. Um, but uh, any of these, uh, Mordo, he's low-key um, sneaky. Very low-key sneaky. And I love Vision Arcus. All right, what do we got? First one, my new champion is going to be... It's going to be Void. All right, now, if I get Void again... If I get Void again, I'm actually going to be happy with that. Let's see what we get. If I dupe Void, that's going to be crazy. But we already have three new seven stars. I have even arena teams. Let's see what we got on this last seven star crystal. Now I'm actually torn. A new champ or a dupe on Void? I probably would pick a dupe on Void, believe it or not. Right now, Void would be my top choice to dupe as a seven star. But anybody else is going to be a new champion. I'm going to be happy. It'll be new, more points in the arena, no matter what. All right, what do we got? And the last one's going to be... No. They finally gave me a... Howard the Duck, who I didn't want. He probably is the one that I wanted the least out of all of these. I just don't like him. I, I, I just don't like him. Um, but he's a new champion, so I'm happy with that. And uh, I would have taken that Storm over him, or Black Hat, for that matter, over him. Um, but I know he's a good champion. He is good. Um, so that is going to do it, guys. A very nice opening for me now i do need to get that void awakened and then it's gonna be crazy um but he's also not a champ that i use because he's not friendly to the recall masteries which i run all the time so we'll see we'll see how it goes and with howard the duck i might have to uh if i play him i'll just have to turn the sounds off or something like that and that might might be what i need to do anyway take care hit the like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day